the XCL may be the one we're most familiar with of the three premium cars that Nissan has shown in this event today. But this Nissan Qashqai is equally important. It's the first of these C SUVs that ever came out back in 2007. So it's something like a Tiguan rival. But it's been the most successful one of these in Europe. And as you can see, we'll start directly with the face of it. It's a very sharply styled one, quite different from that blocky look of the X-Trail. So again, you have this L-shaped DRL, that big V Nissan grill. The Nissan badge is the old one, but we're assuming that's going to change when it comes to India. Again, the very sharply styled bumper, these sharp sort of inserts for the LED headlamps and these sort of air dams which aid efficiency. And again, a very sharply cut bonnet too. Now the Qashqai that will come to India will again be a hybrid. It will be that Nissan E-Force hybrid system. It's very similar to the X-Trail, but this time only front-wheel drive. So you will get a 156 PS, 1.5 litre, three-cylinder turbo. But that, again, directly does not power the front wheels. That's powered by a 190 PS electric motor, which also makes 330 Newton meters of torque. Again, you will have different modes where sometimes the, the generator at strong acceleration is directly powering the front wheels and at other times it will just act as a generator and at really low city speeds it will work completely as an EV. So that's the main highlight of the Kashka in terms of its engine specs. And now we'll take you inside to see what's there on the inside of the Kashka. Now on the inside the Kashka to give you some perspective is about the size of a Saltos or a Creta. But in terms of quality, fit and finish, it's to a much higher standard, at least at these initial impressions. And again, you have, this is a top end variant that they put on display here, unlike the X-Trail that we saw in the other video. So everything that you see here is leather, the leather seats, leather armrests, leather touch, every touch point is leather. There's a lot of soft touch everywhere, this nice graining here. And again, like in the X-Trail, you have a lot of practical physical controls for the AC, the dual zone climate, these big large buttons on the steering wheel. You have these two large 12.3 inch uh, displays. This one being a fully digital instrument cluster. This one being uh, an infotainment system, which is somewhat similar to what we've seen in the kicks, but the graphics seem much more vibrant. There's not that much lag. As you can see, there's a full 360 degree camera. There's a panoramic sunroof powered seats. And if you come down here, you notice that they're quite nice electronic shifters there as well. Now there's a large suite of safety systems. You get ADAS with this one as well, that same 10.8 inch uh, head up display screen in front of you, which projects directly onto the windscreen. And you get a five star Euro NCAP rating, which the X-Trail also has. So your safety too is well taken care of in the Qashqai. Now again, in terms of space, this is very close, maybe slightly smaller than what you would expect to see in a Creta because of its more compact shape and this low sloping roof line. But there's a large sense of space with this panoramic sunroof. I don't think it opens, but you get a full sunshade. You get again a USB-A and a USB-C charger. Space inside, because of the hybrid system, the third passenger will be slightly compromised. And again, because of the raised floor, there isn't too much undersized support, but as a, for a family, a four maybe, is a nice premium crossover. The Qashqai does the job. You have a center armrest as per usual. And again, no reclining seats, but in terms of space, this is good enough for maybe four. Quality is again, not up to the standard of the front. Some, there's a bit more hard plastic here, but Considering the price this will come at, which should be something that you will look forward to as well. Nissan India has said it is evaluating the Qashqai for our market. This SUV should be the second to arrive of these premium offerings after the X-Trail and should be priced between say Rs 30 to 35 lakh.